Hello everyone, this is Maribel Carrillo and we will be making a basic structure of a neuron using household items. So first of all, we're gonna use this coaster as the soma, which is the cell body and it processes the information and also contains the nucleus, which is represented by this pad. On the soma, we have the dendrites, which are represented by these cotton swabs and they're almost like, they look like branches. And these dendrites are the information receiving poles and they receive information from other neurons. Put them right here. And then we have what is the axon and it is represented by this straw and it helps transmit information from the dendrites and the soma all the way to the end of the neuron. And on the axon, we have these, um, the myelin sheath, which is represented by tape and paper so that it can stick on it. And basically the myelin sheath is insulated material that increases the speed of the action potential. Not all the axons have the myelin sheath. And in a brain, there is white matter and gray matter. Usually the white matter is the, the ones that have the axons with that are myelinated. And then on the axon, we have um, the terminal buttons. <laughs> and these are represented by, the, by these matches. And they basically release a chemical that is a neurotransmitter, which serves as a messenger to the next neuron or for, you know, they serve as messenger and they look like they have buttons at the end so that's why I use the matches and that is that's the basic structure of a neuron